Hi, I'm Monica Breckenridge, again, owner of Pink Realty, and we're going to talk about the appraisal process. So the appraisal is actually ordered by your lender. So if you're getting a loan, this is a requirement by your lender. And the reason why they're going to order an appraisal is because they want to make sure they're not going to lend more than the fair market value of the home. They don't want to overextend themselves and get themselves into a bad loan. So you are paying for the appraisal, but it is for the benefit of the lender. They will order it. You do not get to choose your appraiser. The lender is going to choose the appraiser. They have a list of appraisers, and it just kind of goes through a round-robin process, and it just gets assigned to somebody. The listing agent actually gets the phone call for the appraiser and schedules that and meets them out there. If, um, if the deal is very... Um, the appraisal could go either way. Like let's say the appraisal could come in a little bit too high or a little bit too low, um, then we definitely want to go there. If it's high, then that's good. But if it comes in low, then uh, we do want to go in there to make sure that the appraisal does come in where it needs to be and show them all the features of the home. But if we know we're offering pretty good market value, then the appraisal is going to be fine. Um, the lender may ask for two appraisals or more. And usually they just offer, they just have one appraisal, but sometimes there are rare instances where they may need second or third appraisals. Instances where they do this are, for example, fix and flips, where an investor purchases a home, remodels it, and now sells it for a profit. Well, the lender needs to do multiple appraisals to make sure that it's justifying the increase in purchase price because they're seeing the price that the investor bought it for and then they're seeing the price that you're buying it for and they're seeing a big spread. So there's just a double verification basically for the lender. Um, they, the lender may flag some things on the appraisal. So the home does have to pass for the appraisal, especially for FHA and VA, this becomes a concern. Um, any safety issues, um, health issues, um, they're going to flag those things. Um, paint chipping and peeling on the outside, that's a big thing. They may flag that. Um, they may flag a, a trip hazard of some kind. Um, water leaks, they're, they're going to flag things like that. So if the home doesn't pass appraisals, what's going to happen is the appraiser is going to flag it and the lender is going to say, we're not going to lend on this home unless these issues are corrected. At that point, we have to go to the seller and ask them to make these repairs. Um, since this is not something that's written up in the contract and it's not part of the inspection, it kind of gets to the point of who's really going to pay for these items we will do everything we can to get the seller to pay for these things, but they can refuse. They don't have to pay for this. So sometimes it comes to the point where the buyer may have to pay for some repairs to get made to the property in order for their loan to go through, or you have the option of backing out and finding a new house. Um, if this does happen, then the appraiser is going to have to go back out and do a reinspection fee. Um, they're going to reinspect the property and make sure that the corrections were made. They're going to charge a reinspection fee. We will try to get this paid by the seller since this was really a correction that should have been made prior. Um, but if it's a thing where the house is sold as is and it's like a bank owned property or a short sale, the seller probably isn't going to pay that. The re-trip fee could cost anywhere between $50 to $100. You will get a copy of the appraisal when it's done and we do get a chance to review it and object to it. So if you don't um, like the appraisal, you can walk and get your earnest money back as long as we walk before the deadlines on the contract. With VA and FHA appraisals, there are no deadlines on the contract. We have up until the appraisal is done to be able to get to, to walk if you need to. So these are just some of the things that you need to, to be cautious about.